How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel this beautiful smartphone right here is the brand new Honor 200 and it is running the latest Magic OS 8 based on Android 14 this phone has a bunch of really cool and interesting features and in this video I'll share with you some of the best tips tricks and hidden features that will surely help you get the most out of your device. Guys all these features that I'm about to show you can also be found on the Honor 200 Pro and other Honor devices running Magic OS 8. So stay tuned and watch it till the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first things first we'll talk about the always on display. You get two different AOD styles, either you can make it go completely dark just like what we have on other Android phones or you can set this iOS inspired always on display that basically shows you a dimmer version of your lock screen where you can see the wallpaper as well. To change it, just go to your phone settings, click on home screen and style, now go inside the always on display. Here we get a lot of customization options. You can choose between two different styles, add images in the background, choose different clock faces, change the color and you can even download some more AOD styles directly from the theme store. Not only this, you can also decide when you want the AOD to get activated. You can choose tap to show, show as scheduled or show always as per your need. Magic OS 8 also offers customization to the lock screen. Simply pinch with your two fingers and then unlock your phone. Here not only does it let you choose different fonts for the clock and change its color but you can even customize the lock screen style. There are different magic lock screen setups available for you to choose from. You can set up a magazine style inspired lock screen and there is this really cool lucky number design which I think looks nice. The best part is that you can even customize the image and choose any wallpaper from your gallery. Another thing I want to show you is the lock screen shortcuts. As you can see, we only have the camera shortcut but when you swipe up from the bottom of your screen, you get some more shortcuts. We have voice recorder, calculator, flashlight and a timer. So these are hidden shortcuts that we can still access directly from the lock screen. Next, let me show you some interesting gestures that you can use on this smartphone. Go to your phone settings, select accessibility and then click on shortcuts and gestures. Here you can activate some useful gestures to make your smartphone using experience much better. To take a screenshot, you simply need to knock twice on the screen with a knuckle and it takes the screenshot. Another interesting gesture that you can enable is the three finger swipe down. When you want to save any web pages, documents, images or videos, all you need to do is simply swipe down with your three fingers like this. It gets saved directly in the favorite space which you can access anytime by swiping from the edges of your screen. You can even touch and hold on images, text and documents until they float. Then you can drag and drop that specific content into the favorite space and access them whenever you want to. Similarly, we do have this multi-window dock which you can activate by just swiping and holding from the edge. Not only does it show all your favorite applications but it also has a really unique feature called the magic portal. Inside the phone settings, go into assistant and enable this feature called magic portal. Now with a simple touch and hold, you can drag the selected content directly to any application and this surely takes your multitasking to a whole new level. Guys, there are even more gestures when you knock twice with two knuckles on the screen, it starts screen recording and you can also enable double tap to wake and flip to mute your phone. To open apps in a split screen or a pop-up window, you just need to swipe up from the bottom to the top left corner to enter split screen and if you swipe up to the top right corner, it opens that specific app in a pop-up window. So these are some amazing gestures and shortcuts that will definitely save a lot of your time. Did you know this phone has something very similar to the dynamic island that we have on iPhones. It's called magic capsule and to enable that, go to settings, then click on notifications and status bar, go inside magic capsule and make sure you have enabled all the three options. Once done, now when you play any music, watch videos or even while setting a timer, when you close or minimize the app, it goes directly into the magic capsule. I really like how they have implemented this thing and it actually feels really really smooth with some nice animations. The best part is that you can manage multiple activities at the same time inside the capsule. Next we'll talk about some more AI features that have been integrated into the keyboard. Now just like Galaxy AI, we do get some useful tools that will enhance the typing experience on your phone. Just click on these three dots and go inside editor. Here you can correct your spelling and grammar mistakes. 
you can change the tone of your message make it more professional casual polite and there are many different tones you can choose from you also get this compose option where you can easily compose a message or an email with the help of ai and there is a built-in translation tool which can help you translate in different languages so you get all the essential ai tools right inside this keyboard next let me show you a couple of home screen customizations you can see how organized and productive my home screen looks i have changed the grid size to 5 by 6 and to do that on your phone simply pinch with your two fingers go to the home screen settings and change the layout from 4 by 6 to 5 by 6 this way you can add more applications for easier access next you can change the icon size i usually prefer to keep it a bit smaller for a much cleaner look you can also change the swipe down gesture to open the quick settings panel now let me tell you how to customize the app icons go to settings select home screen and style then click on icons here you'll get different styles for the app icons and you can choose whatever you like depending on your mood by default you don't get the app drawer in this phone but you can still enable that option by going into the settings home screen and style and change the home screen style from standard to drawer now when you go back you will able to access the app drawer which is super convenient guys you can create enlarged folders on your home screen all you need to do is simply long press on a folder and select the enlarge option the best part is that it even lets you to resize the folder as well with this you can easily open apps in just a single click without the need to open the folder first another cool feature is the ai smart folders what you can do is just long press and expand the app icon to bring all the shortcuts related to that app right onto your home screen with this you get much quicker access to the shortcuts and this comes in handy for apps like youtube instagram twitter gmail and more now let's talk about widgets simply swipe with your two fingers and click on carts here you get access to all your favorite widgets and there is one really useful widget that i'll recommend you to apply onto your home screen and that is the ai suggestions it recommend apps based on your usage so this folder will change automatically depending on the apps which you are using frequently on your smartphone magic os even allows you to stack widgets on top of each other which helps save some space and keep your home screen less cluttered next in the settings if you go inside display and brightness scroll down and here you'll get this option that says screen refresh rate if it is set to dynamic simply change that to high for much smoother experience and then you can go to the manage apps using high refresh rate and make sure all your favorite apps are running at 120 hertz refresh rate this might consumes a bit more battery but trust me you'll get much better and smoother experience another display setting that you need to change is under the honor eye comfort option here you get this setting called night display and once enabled it automatically adjusts the color temperature based on your body rhythm to help you prepare for better sleep next if you go inside apps you get this option called app twin this lets you to install an app with two different accounts at the same time so if you want two whatsapp or two instagram accounts on your phone then you can surely make use of this feature guys we also get this very useful app lock feature that allows you to easily lock applications using your fingerprint next let me show you some interesting camera features if you love taking portrait pictures then you will get different modes on the smartphone that actually enhance smartphone portraits using advanced ai you can also adjust the background blur and take some stunning looking portraits on this phone there is an ai button that you can use to optimize the lighting skin tones and shadows to get the best results from your phone's camera not only this you can also shoot videos in portrait mode you just need to click on this icon which is on the left and it starts recording videos with some nice blur in the background you can record all the way up to 4k 30 fps videos on this phone now if you want to access various modes just tap on this more option and here you can choose different modes like pro video slow motion time lapse macro mode high resolution and much more so that's pretty much it for this video these are some of the best tips tricks and hidden features for your smartphone if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i'll see you guys in the next one